so now let's save the seller registration information okay to the file store database so here first of all let's implement a separate function for that so above the widget build I can simply say that future and let's name the function as save data to file store and to this function we will pass basically user which is from the firebase or dot dot okay so user and let's give it name as current user that is the seller who is going to register synchronous function firebase firestore dot instance dot collection the collection will be the sellers collection okay where we will save all our sellers information using their unique ID so we can say dot doc and pass the unique ID for that specific seller I mean who is going to register so we can say current user dot UID now basically you will be thinking that is from where we are getting the, this unique ID now before saving the data to the Firestore database of course we will authenticate the user okay so once we authenticate the user then it basically bring us a user with a unique ID okay with a unique user ID which simply means that the seller UID for the seller it will be let's say the seller ID for the user it will be user ID for the rider it will be a unique uh, rider ID okay so I will show you when we register okay here you will see then for example if I create a dummy email okay just to show you guys when I'm talking about this thing okay each user carry his own unique ID which is UID current user dot UID which comes from Firebase auth so I hope now you understand this so anyways now the next thing we have to set our information to the file store okay at this location inside the sellers collection for this specific seller who is going to register okay so we can say dot set make sure to put a semicolon at the end so the first information that we will save is basically the seller u uid okay capital uid you can give any name you want to give to for these keys okay but i will suggest to use the same spellings okay i mean the same names because later on many people will get confused if you use different names and i use different name in the videos then your name will be different and maybe you get confused later on in the course so that's why i suggest to use the same name okay or seller i uh, saving the seller id i write here seller uid and then after we can say current user dot UID which we are getting from the authentication as a result so anyways after this we will say seller email and we can get the email from the authentication as well current user dot email then comes the seller name and it is we can get from the name controller so name controller dot text dot trim and then after it we can have the after the seller name we can save the seller avatar URL which simply means the profile image for that seller okay cafe or restaurant so anyways as you know it is saved inside the variable which is our seller image URL then we have the phone for seller I mean the phone number so we can say phone and we can say phone controller dot text dot room then comes the address so we can say address and the address is inside the variable which is called complete 
let me just check that this variable okay complete address so let's just copy this I mean we have to initialize above in order to access it in any other function on our register dot, dot file so this is our complete address and here at the top we can say string complete address equals to null so yeah. now we can say complete address and then the status of this account okay so by default we will approve any seller who is going to log in for the first time but if he commit any mistake I mean any misuse of the app of course the admin in the admin web portal we will allow the admin to block any seller or any rider or any user even okay so we can say approved then comes the earnings and by default I mean the initial value will be 0, 0.0 and of course the latitude and longitude so you can say lat which means latitude the latitude we can get using our position variable we can say position dot latitude make sure to add the non null exclamation mark here then comes the lng which means longitude you can say position dot longitude so this is basically a function which will basically save our seller information okay all this seller information at this location inside the sellers collection for this specific seller who is going to register each seller carry his own unique ID okay whenever a new seller register authenticate using the firebase authentication so basically firebase authentication return us a unique key a unique uid so for each seller or for each rider or for each user we have uh, different i mean each one carry their own unique id now this is to save the data to the firestore of course after this we will save the data locally in the app I mean to the phone storage in order to access it easily in the app uh, whenever we required so I will simply add a comment here that is save to save data locally okay we will implement that of course save data locally locally now this is as I told you to save the data to the Firebase Firestore okay to the Firestore database but before doing that I mean we have to authenticate the seller in order to get this unique seller ID for each seller okay for each new seller okay so for that purpose let's create a function here so let's create a function by the name sign up and authenticate seller or you can say authenticate I mean any name okay but the proper name will be authenticate as we are authenticating first okay and then we will of course sign up that is by sign up I simply means to save the data to the firestore we will call this function now inside our authenticate seller and sign up so anyways in order to authenticate we can simply say user which is from the firebase or dot dot and let's give it name as current user it will be asynchronous so we can say async wait also let's create an instance of the firebase auth we can give it name as firebase auth equals to firebase auth dot instance and then we can say firebase auth dot create user with email and password the first one okay and it requires two parameters to authenticate any seller the first one is the email the second one is the password so you can say email and the email is inside our 
email controller dot text dot trim okay then the second parameter make sure to put a comma the second parameter that we have is basically the password so you can say password controller dot text dot trim comma then we can say dot then let's change this value to auth and now we can say we can assign the this user now what it will do basically this will basically create user with email and password inside the firebase authentication okay so as a result we can get now this current user that is their U UID their email and every information that, that is related to the authentication so as a result we just want now the current user okay which is just sign up here okay after executing this code so that's why we said out then auth using the auth we can get now the user so we can simply uh, get that you can say auth dot user okay and then we will simply assign this user who just sign up now to the current user okay and then after it now we have the current user okay who is going to I mean who is now sign up or you can say for this current user we are going to save the data to the fire store so anyways after this we can say that if current user not equals to null that is the new seller has been uh, authenticated and I mean if he is authenticated successfully okay and if it is not null that's why what it means so anyways now we can simply call our function which is save data to firestore now for which user we want to save we want to save for this user okay current user who is going to sign up that new seller so current user make sure to add the non null exclamation mark then we can say dot then so it will save the data to the fire store for this specific seller okay using their unique uid now the next thing is to basically disable i mean uh, make the progress bar disappeared okay the loading di uh, dialog so we can say navigator dot pop context and then after it we have to send the user to home page so let's just quickly create an empty home page okay right click on lib you can click on new and then we will create a directory and we can give this directory or this folder a name main screens okay main screens so inside the main screens right click on main screens new dot file and we will give it name as uh, home underscore screen so home screen dot dot okay import material dot dot and then we can simply create a stateful widget we will give it name as a uh, home screen okay so now come back here to the register page and let's send the seller after successful re registration to that page so we can say a root new root equals to material page root builder send the seller to the home page home screen it is okay by the name home screen make sure to put a semicolon at the end and now we can simply say navigator dot push replacement context and pass the root which is by the name new root so it will send the seller to the home screen and now let's call our this function which is authenticate seller and sign up okay so in here where we add a comment which is save info to firestore we can say now that is authenticate 
seller and sign up so how it will work so after successfully uploading the image to the storage basically it gives us a download URL and we save that uh, we assign that download URL to our seller image URL variable string type variable okay so now the URL is inside here once it is I mean the image uploaded successfully we get the URL after this we call over this function which is authenticate seller and sign up so what happened here is that is it basically create uh, authenticate a new user or you can say create user with email and password in the authentication okay and as a, as a result we get the current user that specific current seller you can say okay with their unique UID so once it is created we as we get that user as a result after successful uh, authentication and we assign it to our current user user data type variable okay so then we simply say here we check that if everything goes well okay if it is not equals to null we save we call our function which is save data to firestore okay for which user for this specific current seller okay for this specific current seller so we save the that information to uh, firestore for that specific seller I mean that specific seller UID okay so I hope you understand it inside the seller collection you will see it when we will test the app so this is the complete flow of our registration now the last thing is basically we need to save the data locally okay you will also learn now how to save the data to the local phone storage using shared preferences now we are saving it to the Firestore okay for that we use basically an internet connection while when we save it to the we are going to save it locally because we will need the information like the seller UID the seller profile picture I mean any important information which we want to use many time in the app so for that we just not write uh, I mean many times we have to write code for it in order to retrieve from the fire store so it will be time taken that's why we are going to save the data locally so that we can access the data easily so yeah, we will be doing that in the next video as well as we will test the app for complete registration. So see you guys in the next video.